Okay, today we're going to look at limits of accuracy, this time involving numbers that have been rounded to significant figures. So I've got two examples, we're going to start off with this one. So this is 0 0.03 and it's been rounded to one significant figure. Now the idea of significant figures is you can round large numbers or small numbers. So this one's been rounded to one significant figure and its first significant figure was in the hundredths column. So in effect it's been rounded to the nearest hundredth. So to find its upper and lower bounds, we say well, it's rounded to 0 0.03. The next number it could have been rounded to, to one significant figure, would have been 0 0.04. And the previous one, 0 0.02. And we use this idea of a scale again that we've used before when looking at limits of accuracy. Halfway between here, the lower bound would have been 0 0.025, where it would begin to round to 0 0.03, where it would then stop rounding to 0 0.03 and round to 0 0.04 would be 0 0.035. The best way to write this is as an error interval, which you've hopefully seen before. So 0 0.03 to one significant figure is greater than or equal to 0 0.025 and less than 0 0.035. Notice that the upper and lower bounds have two significant figures and when it's been rounded it's just got one significant figure. The second example has been rounded to two significant figures and it's a larger number. So it's been rounded to 4,300. The next number with two significant figures will be 4,400 and the previous one 4,200. Again, thinking of this idea of a scale, there's a point halfway between where it stops rounding to 4,200 and rounds to 4,300. That will be for 4,250. And when it stops rounding to 4,300 and starts rounding to 4,400, will be 4,350. Lower bound and upper bound, to write it as an error interval, 4,300 to two significant figures is greater than or equal to 4,250 and less than 4,350. Once again, the number's been rounded to two significant figures, the upper and the lower bounds will have three significant figures.